guys, Pete the Peach Tools. Good to see you back here again. Another beautiful day in paradise here, as it always is in New Zealand, of course. Of course it is. Anyway, today I want to have a bit of a yarn about uh, duty cycles for your MIG welder and duty cycles for your old plasma cutter. What are they and why do you need to know what they're all about? Especially if you're new to this game and you're just buying a machine. Uh, the duty cycle might just explain why one unit is a lot cheaper than the other. And uh, you also need to get the duty cycle that you need for whatever work you're doing. It depends how long you're using your welder or your plasma cutter for at one, one time, what sort of duty cycle you need. Anyway guys, as usual, subscribe to my videos if you like. Drop me a like, drop me a comment, say good day. I'll be always happy to have a bit of a yarn to you. And uh, let's get into it eh? without, any, without any more further crap. Watch this video. So guys, here's my uh, 40 amp plasma cutter and uh, I'll just uh, spin it around and we'll have a look at the duty cycle tag on the back. So Come guys, on. here we have the uh, duty cycle tag on the back of my uh, 40 amp MyTech plasma cutter. Right, so the, what we're looking for here is the line along here. See this here? You get along here and it says there's 60% and 100% here. So if we look here at 60% and we go one underneath it, the next box underneath it, it says 40 amp. So that's the maximum this machine can cut is 40 amp. So that's flat out. So if you're using this machine flat out, you can use it for 60% of the duty cycle. Now if you want to use it for 100% of the duty cycle, you have to alter the voltage down on the front of the switch on the front of the machine to 31 amps. And you can use it for 100% of the duty cycle. Well, you might say, well, that's all very well, but what's the duty cycle? Well, the European standard and the American standard for these is for um, plasma cutters and welders and, and stuff like the art welders, uh, I think it's TIG welders, is 10 minutes. So the duty cycle is a 10 minute duty cycle. So if you can run this at 40 amps flat out for 60% of the duty cycle, that means you could run this flat out, this machine flat out for 6 minutes out of 10. And then what you have to do is let it cool off for the other four minutes out of the ten minutes of the duty cycle, if you understand that. So if you want to run up for a hundred percent, so you want to run up for the ten minutes out of the ten minutes, you have to turn it down to 31 amps, and you can run up for the ten minutes out of the ten minutes on the duty cycle. But I still wouldn't run it continuously. I would uh, let it cool down for a couple of minutes in between your ten minute runs. But um, yeah, and this is also set at an ambient temperature of 40 degrees Celsius, which I think is about 103, 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So it depends, if you're working in a cold climate, you're gonna get a lot more out of your duty cycles than what you are in a warm climate, um, if you follow that logic. I've also so got- now I know what you're thinking, guys. You're saying, hey, Pete, what the hell's the bloody point of having a plasma cutter that you can only use for six minutes out of 10? Um, well, it's not really like that, because when you're cutting, or you're cutting off a bolt, or you're doing some other bits and pieces, or you might be cutting a piece of plate, Normal, a lot of normally you don't cut like three and four meter lengths of plate at once unless you're like in a manufacturing setting. So if you're just whacking off a bolt or something and then you put your plasma cutter down for, for a minute, a minute and a half and you're doing something else before you pick it up again, that minute and a half goes into cooling time and then you've got the whole cycle again. So unless you're cutting great big long lengths of steel, running uh, at that sort of duty cycle is perfectly fine, especially for the domestic market, it's uh, no issue whatsoever. It's just when you're doing great big long runs all the time and then your machine will start to overheat and it'll hit the thermal overload and it'll um, eventually it'll crap out if you keep pushing it over and over and over the load. Uh, same with uh, my MIG welder. I'll show you the duty cycle on my MIG welder. It's a little bit um, more amps than what the plasma cutter is, of course, but the duty cycle is much the same. Here, here have a look at this. So, guys, here's my trusty old uh, MIG welder. You see, she's a MIG 250S, so uh, running 250 amps and an inverter. So I'll show you the uh, duty cycle on this little sucker and uh, you can compare it to the uh, uh, plasma cutter. So here we have my MIG welder, my 250 amp MIG welder and then we have the same plate on the back here if you see. We go along here the same as what we had before. So we've got a 60% duty cycle at 250 amps welding. So that's flat out, this machine will do 250 amps. So that's 60%, so that's the same as the plasma cutter. So that's 6 minutes out of every 10 minutes you can run it at that, that power setting. Or if you want to run it for 100% of the time, if you want to run it for 10 minutes out of the 10 minutes, you have to turn it down to 193 or 190 amps. And then you can run it continuously for 10 minutes after 10 minutes after 10 minutes. But like I said, I would just let it cool down for a couple of minutes in the, in the meantime. And 60% um, is 6 minutes out of your 10, the same as the last one again. So just uh, remember guys, um, 
don't overheat your machinery because uh, this is just a warning. This 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 will give you you know just just because you run over the six minutes doesn't mean to say it'll shut off. It's just um, it's getting awfully hot, and uh, all this is about cooling you've got to cool your machine all the time it's got to have good cooling that's why these fans are so important and it's so important to keep the circuit boards clean especially in these inverter machines so now guys you're saying geez pete you've got a useless friggin welder haven't you you can only weld six minutes out of ten at uh, full power well, that sucks well it doesn't really because um i used to make um rubbish um, bins you know um rubbish dumpster bin things we call them skips here in new zealand and um i used to weld three meter lengths and uh I could weld three meters with the MIG. Not very clever welding, but I could do a three meter thing in, a, in about six minutes. So it, uh, it never went into the thermal overload or anything. And most people don't do those sort of runs. They just they just do they just little do little tacks, or they're doing something else, or or they're welding a bolt together, or they're welding a little bit of plate, and then you put your torch down for a while, and then you go and do something else, or you cut something up with a hacksaw or whatever, and then it goes into your duty cycle again, and then your duty cycle starts all over again. So it's really not that bad. Um, only the really high duty cycles is for commercial use where they're using it all the time, all, every day, all day, every day, you know. But for the average guys like me, I mean, I was, well, I was doing it semi-commercial and it was, it was perfectly fine. Um, sometimes, either, admittedly, the leaves used to get a little bit hot when I had a really long run. But um, other than that, it was, all, it was all good. So just, guys, just watch those duty cycles, eh? Because it does, it's just not numbers on the back of the machine, it does actually mean something. So just remember that the, the cycle is a 10 minute cycle. And um, whatever it says the cycle is at whatever amperage, that's how much you get out of that 10 minute cycle. So anyway guys, that's another bit of useless information for you. Hope you like my videos. Remember to subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Say good day even. And uh, we'll catch you next time, eh?